Mercurius. Oh. Lucy. Oh, she's crying. Okay, episode 161. And so far, Fairy Tail is not doing good. Yeah. <laughs> but she is Gildar's daughter, so I think eventually her potential will show. And I, think, I hope that she'd also become like the major. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> And with what I'm saying is that I hope that eventually Kana will also become part of the strongest wizards of Fairy Tail. Yeah, I think they're still somewhat depressed with how they lost, but can't really, especially Lucy. I don't think she should be that much blaming her she shouldn't be blaming herself that much because Raventail practically cheated in that moment I guess with Grey I think it's more I think it's more uh, apparent because he did lost with um, fairly in that uh, hidden game Oh, <laughs> that's why it felt so weird. <laughs> Jubia got me there. I was really confused in that moment. I was thinking, is this really going to happen? <laughs> Yeah, it's just the beginning. So Yeah. <laughs> As usual thinking. <laughs> yeah. There's such such a positive kind of group. <laughs> Chariot. And uh yes. Last episode was really disappointing that we get we didn't get to see I, at least we get a glimpse of the fight between Jeral and Jura. Bacchus. They're not showing his face. I think this is the king. So he's working behind the scenes. Um, different from the from the king. I thought he it was the king who's ordering him to yes to set up the the tournament. It seems like the king doesn't have an idea of what's going what's really going on behind the scenes. Yes, he did talk about uh, Zaref. Oh no. <laughs> Is it drunk?
<laughs> They're drunk. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, maybe this is the chariot guy. And she lost. Oh, I think Kana is going to... But I don't think she's part of the team. Yes, she's also a reserve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like a drunken master. Yup. Oh. Yeah, so he's Bacchus. Oh, and Urza knows him. Oh, so he's part of that, of that, uh, nobody, <laughs> I guess I, uh, red shirt team. I thought he's somewhat part of Sabertooth or something. <laughs> Ersa's action was so cute. Oh, S class wizard. So every every team is really they really they really had the potential. Cause I thought that <laughs> the other teams are just uh for uh, just like extras. But I guess that's not the case. At least now, Charlotte is telling Polushka. A white knight. Mercurius. Oh. Lucy. Oh, she's crying. Ooh. What's going to happen? Oh, man, that's so... I'm so excited for when, <laughs> for when that ha finally happens. Because that's really a lot of things that I'm really interested about is... Lucy, huh? Oh, so it's as it has begun. <laughs> and he's it is weak. It is it's his greatest weakness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but props for the effort, not to. <laughs> I guess he was so worked up with the uh, back. Oh, even. Oh, so it is. So it is a weakness of a dragon slayer.
Because we, we've never... I guess Wendy has her... Uh, what was the magic... <laughs> but I'm really curious to do what Charlotte's vision is. I guess that's the g great thing with her not revealing it to everyone, and it's just being bits of pieces is to hype up of what's going to happen. Yeah, they never really thought about this too <laughs> in letting Gajil and Nats participate. Because I think maybe maybe Mira Jane or who else could fly. I guess has a advantage in 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 uh, move in speed. I guess maybe Urza. Whoa. But that would stop the chariot, the vehicles. And who's the, the participant of the Raven Tail? <laughs> yeah. There's the guy from the Dragon Tail. I guess their main focus is Fairy Tail. Not really winning the tournament. Yeah. I don't think they've. I don't think they've uh, mentioned it before with regards to Gajin. <laughs> so I guess this is the, the, the confirmation about it that Dragon Slayer is. Yeah. So even him. Oh, even Laxus. But. I guess Wendy, because Wendy has a the throwaway. It was a throwaway. Yeah? <laughs> They're really struggling.
and and he he really knows a lot of I guess the former fairy tale. Maybe something happened to them in the guild that made them somewhat hate. Because it seems like what I'm sensing is that they hate fairy tale. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> and it came from Natsu. And he worked really hard to get it. Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of motivational. <laughs> I guess this is somewhat building up their reputation now. Their image as a guild. Oh, uh, and yeah, cause, cause I think most of the time in tournaments, the underdogs are the ones who's really most um being rooted for. So I think that something tragic happened to this, to Sting and the uh, Rogue. For them to look at fairy tale that way. Oh. <laughs> but I really hope Wendy to get back in the tournament. Because they really hyped up that uh, secret Dragon Slayer secret arts or something. Oh, and she's not telling Lucy. Maybe she's still not sure yet, so it just might confuse Lucy. Yeah, this is the problem is that But But this has happened a lot a lot of times already. I guess that's the thing that's really bugging me about with Charlotte's power is that she already said it before. I guess even her mother said it before that they have the power of being able to see into the future. But I guess the thing is, is it is it possible to be a uh, change or it's inevitable that's going to happen anyway, whatever they do. She's so messed up. <laughs> oh, she was beaten up. Now I'm feeling bad for her. <laughs> this bring back I still remember the moment where he he punctured himself. That was really funny. <laughs> Ah, 
Ah. <laughs> But his claws, I think, has 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 grown. I think before it was just really, uh, really short. I wonder who's going to be fighting next. Maybe I think the king mentioned something else. Maybe it's Elfman, because they they've shown Elfman in the last in that last moment before. Um, was it Bakio? Bakio. So I think they're setting up Bakio and Elfman in the next uh, battle eventually. And I wonder what Beth is he thinking about. Maybe it's about Mira Jane because it seems like he's he's really interested in the hot girls and I think that's the reason why he came to Kana first and but he's he's but the thing is he's he's an S class wizard so definitely he's on the same maybe around the level of Mira Jane and Urza so I think I I think I I guess it also makes sense to be a great challenge for Elfman if that's the case. So for him to be able to at least uh, prove himself as an S class wizard, because the thing is, every I I I I still remember that um, everyone who came to Tenrojima are candidates in order to become S class wizards. So and it it was uh, the, it was only it it, it was uh, disrupted because of the of the event with the Grimmer Hearts, but um, they are they, they are already at that um, at that peak at that. Um, at that level of reaching the S class wizard, and I guess it's just the matter of um, proving it and being to show that, um, yeah, we are th these are, are the S class wizards. Oh, but was Elfman really because I, cause I remember that there are candidates and there are like uh, partners that they could go with because uh, I don't think Wendy was part of that. Was a part was a candidate. She was on only partnered. She was only asked by. Was it um. The the spy um. I forget his name. Uh, Mest. And uh, I think it was Mest. It was Kana, so Kana Mest. Um, was also, was Juvia also included? Uh, I think it's get maybe gray, and then Natsu. Um, I think Freed, Freed, and then who else was? Oh yeah, I think it's definitely Elfman and Lisana. Um, Elfman was the the candidate and. Elfman invite uh, part was partnered with Lisana, and then um, who else was part of the Tenrajima? So Grey, Elfman. Who else? But yeah, uh, with regards to that, I think uh, most of those candidates for S-Class Wizards will be uh, pit against the S-Class Wizards in this tournament in order just to finally I guess to seal the deal that Natsu, Elfman um, uh, Natsu, Elfman, Grey and maybe even Lucy is at the S-Class Wizard and, and even from that moment where Lucy was used Gemini it felt like she she already has she's already already almost at that uh, at that level of an S class wizard maybe not that that not really an S class wizard yet but almost there 
maybe an A class something like that and uh, yeah I'm really excited on how stronger Elfman has become because uh, sh she Elfman is I think the the lesser the weaker version of Mira Jane's um, takeover so hopefully now he's able he's almost uh, at the same level at the, at the, as the first form of Mira Jane's takeover so that's I'm really excited about and because he was able to train and um, I guess he was able to train with Mira Jane so definitely he has become a lot stronger and uh, yeah another thing is with regards to the chariot uh, chariot um, contest in the tournament where we learned that every dragon slayers has a weakness with transportation vehicles and I wonder why so I don't think it's really just for the for the comedy of it for the joke that uh, this is their their weakness so and maybe it's also setting up because yeah I'm still not sure why but I think Wendy is the only exception because she has that throw away yeah? she has the magic to remove that motion sickness and uh, with regards to Sting and uh, Rogue the two dragon slayers it seemed like they had an experience and encounter with a fairy tale that made them feel like they really have a grudge with regards to fairy tale and I think the saber tooth doesn't feel that way it's just that the, the, two, the two of them has some kind of grudge against the fairy tale and uh, and they it seems like they, they, they really know, know a lot about fairy tale about Natsu about Gajil so I guess eventually we will learn what happened what were the experiences are and uh, maybe maybe they're not really that uh, bad of a person maybe maybe there's more to it to there's a more deeper um, I guess um, reason why they killed their own dragons because dragon it seemed like it, it's I guess the the first impression of them it seemed like they're being built up as an antagonist or a, a, a villain but I feel like they're not that they're not that that uh, that that's that's not really the case, and I think the main antagonist, the real main antagonist, in this whole arc is the Raven Tail and that Captain of the Guard of the King, because uh, I think they're really setting up something. And another thing is really cool in this episode, really cool thing in this episode is Charlotte's vision, and I wasn't expecting Lucy to be <laughs> in that moment, in that seeing the. The, the buildings crumbling down so and uh, I guess it's it's all connected to Lucy again so maybe it's connected to the song of the starry skies or something like that and because uh, I thought that um, I thought the one that would be more focused in this episode would definitely be Jalal I, I mean yeah, I guess maybe Jalal or Zaref. So, that's really weird and really interesting and uh, mysterious on what's going to happen. I'm really excited now. A lot more, a lot more compared to um, to them just uh, fighting and having an ordinary turn. I guess it, it gives a lot more um, plot twist in this, with what, on what's going to happen. It, make, it would make the event a lot more unpredictable compared to expecting that in the end fairy tale will become the winners of the tournament so i think that's the most obvious route if it's just a tournament and uh and now it's really there, there's that, that uncertainty that maybe this tournament wouldn't, wouldn't really end well and and i think eventually everyone will have to face zaref i think uh, that's one of my, one of my prediction and um, with regards to uh, what else uh, I guess another thing that I'm really somewhat uh, not really uh, a fan of with regards to Charlotte's powers that she's she's do doubting the power that 
she has been able to see through a couple of arts ago from the nirvana to i guess from did she mention it in the nirvana i think it's she mentioned it in the adolescent art i think after that adolescent art she was able to confirm it again in the tenrojima so i think that's already um concrete proof enough to make her visions reliable because in tenrojima she never told anyone and uh, in Edela, she thought that it was a uh, a memory or uh, an information that was implanted to the exceeds and maybe uh, happy just forgot about it but it turns out it was her vision so, so and she was able to go to the to the route where they were captured so uh, it's really it doesn't make, I guess uh, Sharla is just still not confident about it and I guess the another, another problem is that the information is really vague in order to tell it to someone else but she, she did tell Polushka but I guess it doesn't help any at all, anything at all so I guess the only good thing about is about it about that is um, I guess if everyone knew maybe they could somewhat prevent it but uh, they still haven't explained I guess they eventually they will explain with regards Charlotte's power or I guess maybe it's just um, the author's way of yeah teasing us, us on what's about to happen and there's not really more of a um, mechanics or things like that with regards to it and with regards to the because I guess it's it's somewhat dealing with time at the same time if it's going to be something like a vision and then um, if they try to change it maybe it's inevitable inevitable and um, just doing an action about it would just really uh, go through the same route uh, eventually so it's really pointless so maybe maybe that's the case so yeah those those are my thoughts on this episode um, uh, please do share yours uh, and if, if you think I have missed some details or maybe things that I thought it uh, is really way off with regards to the what's happened so uh, please do share it in the comments down below let me know I would really appreciate that uh, just to make things a bit more clear and um, also with regards to um, maybe with the dragon slayers maybe they've mentioned it before maybe I just forgot about it and uh and yeah um please do share your thoughts in this episode and what did you think about charlotte's vision uh, is it really um relevant with regards to the story and um also with regards to the ranking and also with the with regards to tenrojima so if it if you still remember uh please do let me know the candidates that that Makarov selected in the Tenrojima S-Class wizard uh, test that they went through. So I think there were around seven. So please do let me know in the comments. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, share also what uh, do you think about this episode. Your favorite moments or your favorite um, I guess the most memorable um, event in this episode. So uh, uh, please do, uh, just just leave a comment down below and uh, I would really uh, love to read those comments and uh, hopefully it would make um, my understanding in this episode a lot better so and also that um, uh, please do like this video and subscribe if this is your first time here so you'll be updated whenever I upload my reaction videos and uh, my reaction to the next, next episode is, is also now available on my patreon just go to the link in the description down below and there you will have an early access and it will really help support this channel and help me create more reaction videos like this in the future. So uh, thank you again for watching. See you on my next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.